When anybody sets off into the hills for a walk, uh, up into the mountains or wherever, there are five things that you need to know about your route, whether that's all the way to your destination or you may have broken down the route into individual legs. A leg is just a section of a walk. Um, as an example, you need to know how far you're going to travel. You know, that's quite important. So I'll, I know exactly where I am on the map. I'll drop it onto your screen here so you can see it. So I am exactly there. In fact, I know that because if you look behind me, hopefully you can see it. Can you see this um, feature about 10 meters behind me? That's actually shown onto the map. I'll highlight that on your screen. And more importantly, the hillock just behind me, it's, sort of, it's not exactly a ring contour, but it's a contour, circular contour. That's also on the map. So I know exactly where I am. Now I want to walk to Grinslow Knoll, which is the large peak uh, behind me. So the first thing I need to know, as I said, how far is it? Now I can use the millimetre scale on my compass to actually measure it. Let's have a look. So here we go, and it is, 18 millimeters from here. Now 18 millimeters uh, on a 1 to 25 map is what, uh, I have to get my calculator, 450, <laughs> sorry, 450 meters. So now I know from here to Grinslow Knoll it's 450 meters. So that is my distance. Now how long is it going to take me to walk that distance? Well 450 meters is going to take me just under seven minutes let's say at four kilometers an hour. Now I'm going to go from here to the summit so I'm going to rise 20 meters. So I'll add another couple of minutes onto that. So just under seven minutes, let's call it nine minutes. So it's gonna take me nine minutes to walk from here. So I've now got my distance and my duration. So either all these. The next thing I need to know is what direction do I take? I know in, in these sort of conditions, I can see where I'm going <laughs> and I just set off. But what happens if it was nighttime? I'd need to take a compass bearing or some other method of finding. So let's have a quick compass bearing from here. I'll put this on your screen and I've got, let's have a look, 122 degrees. There's no magnetic declination to, to bother with in this area at the moment. In fact, I checked last week and it's 0 0.2, so I'm not gonna bother with it. But at the, so I walk on a bearing of 122 for 450 meters in that direction. So I now know my distance, I know the duration, and I know the direction. The next thing I need to know is a description. Just looking at the map, I can see that I'm going to be walking uphill over, well, it's these little signs here in between as these stand for marshes. So it's gonna be damp ground. And at this time of year and in this area, it's gonna be thick heather. <laughs> so it's gonna slow me down. So that nine minutes maybe, uh, take that with a pinch of salt. So I've got my distance, I've got my duration, I've got my direction, and I've got my description. The last thing I need is my, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna get it right. The last thing I need is my destination. In other words, what happens when I get there? What will be there? So let's have another look on the map. And you can see when I arrive, there'll be crags on my left and my right, and a steep drop in front of me with a, with a footpath going down it. Now, one of the things you need to know about destination is, it's really important, how do you know when you have arrived, but more importantly, how do you know when you've not arrived, when you've gone too far? So there needs to be a catching feature. And basically, in this case, it's a really simple one. I'm walking uphill all the way to the summit. If I start going downhill, which I will recognize, then I've gone too far. I need to stop, look at my map, and then reappraise. So just going back over there, distance, how far are you going to travel? Duration, how long is it going to take you? And don't believe anybody that tells you, once you know the distance, you'll know the duration. You don't, simple as that. Because lots of things can slow you down. Like if you're walking at night, you'll tend to walk slower. You're walking into a strong headwind, you're walking in the fog, you're walking oh, well, over this type of terrain behind me. It's all going to slow you down. A little point about duration, by the way, how long it's going to take. If you've arranged to meet somebody or told them what time you're going to return from your walk and you're going along and you find that you're going a lot slower than that, 
contact that person if you can by your mobile phone just to let them know that you're going to be late otherwise they call the police and call the mountain rescue team and everything goes wrong <laughs> so that's duration now the direction virtually all areas in the world have some form of magnetic declination whether it's east or west so if you know your magnetic declination use your compass to set it unless you can actually see all the way from where you are to your destination <laughs> like I can today I can actually see where I'm going the description if you've not been to the area before take the information off the map maps contain an awful lot of information if you come to this area, I know where I am now and I know where I'm going. So I know the type of terrain that I walked over to get here. And it's almost certainly going to be very similar. And it was hard going getting up here, by the way. <laughs> Last but not least, destination. You must have a catching feature, something that, it's a safety net, something that grabs you, it's a catcher, it catches you. Something that tells you to stop, hang on a moment, Something's gone wrong here. <laughs> we need to stop, look at the map, reappraise, and maybe even go back to your last known location. But so that's it. So they're the five things that you need to know before you set off on a walk. And for those of you who haven't had the pleasure <laughs> of getting to the summit of Grinslow Knoll, this is it. As always, thanks for watching.